Well, he was going to come out either way, but he told me he was out of gas after that last pitch, so it kind of looks bad. And uh, That's been a formula that we've used, Garrett coming in for the eighth and then Jake for the ninth. And uh, Even if Jeff had told me he feels strong, he usually, uh, you know, he's about an 80, 80, 85 pitch guy, and he was at 93, but it made it real easy for me when he said he was out of gas after that last out. So, unfortunately, uh, you know, I, I don't think Garrett was a whole lot different than uh, even their bullpen there at the end, but uh, the difference is we didn't have Davis come up and hit a ball in the gap and then a blue pip after that. So, uh, What did you just tell your guys? I mean, obviously. Well, I, 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 I don't uh, – tough one. You know, this game's cruel sometimes, and uh, uh, we got to play better. I, you know, there was a lot of good things in this. Gold's performance was unbelievable in the wet conditions, and so was, of course, Andrew Moore. and. Uh, the defense behind Jeff was outstanding. Uh, we didn't do a very good job of making them play catch off of Moore. Um, and then a lot of the talk was uh, the shenanigans with uh, uh, Clevenger popping off to their bench after he gets the last out and uh, the negative emotion there. And uh, we got kids that are unfortunately bringing attention to themselves by coming in the dugout after bat at bats and slamming things around. And, uh, it's not the way our program operates, and I apologize to Coach Casey about the, uh, we, you know, they had a guy do the same thing yesterday. I'm not going to mention any names. and I think it just it happens sometimes in the uh, the rivalry part of it, and the emotions run high, but it still doesn't make it okay. I mean, you got to be disciplined enough not to do that kind of crummy stuff. And, you know, uh, the team that played better won tonight, and uh, you got to live with those kind of things sometimes. Talking to him in the dugout. I don't know why I did it. You know, just trying hard, and he wanted to be successful. And I didn't ask him why I did it. I just told me I never want him to see do that, do that again. It was classless and brutal. You know, there's there's nothing gained by that. Let's talk about being out of character um, yesterday. And obviously, the strength of your guys has been winning the seventh, eighth, and ninth. Concerning is a couple of nights like this. Well, we won the eighth. We won the seventh, eighth, and ninth last night. It just wasn't good enough. Uh, we executed a little better tonight and put ourselves in position. We just, uh, we're not hitting, okay, is that, uh, it's probably, <laughs> probably Wetzler and Moore have a lot to do with that. You know, there's a reason they're, aren't they leading the country in ERA? I, I yes. think so. Uh, so, uh, they're pretty good, you know. A lot of people stop hitting when they face their pitchers, but, and we've got to accept the responsibility. Uh, they didn't, you know, other than Davis's ball, it's two walks and, and a couple of bloopers, you know, and uh, what you expect off good pitching is sometimes if you put the ball in play, you get a blooper or maybe hit the ball on the ground under wet conditions, you might be able to create an extra opportunity or so. Just, but just to think that you're going to sit back and hit line drives off of our staff or their staff is, is probably not realistic. Does it get frustrating with Garrett because, you know, he, he walks those guys and then he comes back and he strikes two out in a row with – kind of that stuff that he's had to be successful in the past but you know this is not the first outing where he's put some guys on base yeah he's had some of those but he's he's been really good for us for a year and a half or a year and two-thirds or whatever it is and uh, especially of late he's really thrown the ball well uh, uh, you know it, it might look easy to throw in a muddy and I'm not making excuses for him but I uh, noticed that their relief pitchers came in and threw balls too uh, so it's a little hard, you know, it's wet and uh, again, he, uh, he's been really good for us for a year and a half. He had a crummy outing tonight. They took full advantage of it. We, you know, we had an opportunity uh, when they set the table for us to do, do something and we didn't get it done. You got leadoff guys on again. I think now it's like 10 of the 17 innings you got them on and, and got the one in there at the last inning, but a lot in between again where you just can't get the leadoff guy on but can't really string it around and, and get yeah. that big hit like Davis had, you mentioned. Yeah, we're not hitting on all cylinders, obviously. And again, it goes back to them making quality pitches, us trying too hard maybe because of the the heightened emotions of the of the game. And, uh, you know, walking in the lion's den in here, it has a tendency to make you try too hard. and. Uh, from my understanding, we didn't swing the bat extremely well in batting practice either for some reason. And so, you know, baseball teams go through that. And then again, going back to uh, Oregon State's pitching has a tendency to put many guys in slumps. Mm -hmm. And they certainly did that to us in the last two games. How, how good did the gold look in that first at-bat against Conforto where he struck him out with the changeup? 
I pitched pretty good to Michael uh, tonight, and you know we were certainly first and second, nobody out, and there he comes up. You know we weren't trying to pitch around him there. We were trying to throw him strikes. I don't know what would have happened had Garrett thrown him strikes, but we knew he wasn't going to bunt, and that's the probably one of the last guys in the league or in America that you want to see come up when you you got a one-run lead and it's first and second, nobody out. You know, but but we weren't trying to walk him there, and then. You know, Davis behind him, who hasn't had a tremendous series so far, but uh, punished Garrett and us for, for walking Mike and making the bases loaded. You talked a lot about the character of your guys in the past. Obviously, this is a time when you guys need to turn around quickly and, and salvage something out of the series. How do you think they'll respond tomorrow? Well, I don't know. Uh, you know, I let them up pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. I, you know, I, I love my guys. Uh, it's probably as disappointed as I've been in a Duck baseball team in the last two and a half years. Not because of the loss or where we're at or the behavioral part of it. Uh, they, they've shown uh, bad behavior and weakness. You know, weakness is when things start going bad, then you can do whatever you want. And, and that's a bad reflection on them and bad reflection on our program. And um, my guess is they'll fix that because they, re uh, they, they respond to things that we ask them to do and they need to. Um, I'm not as proud of them uh, as I usually am, even in defeat, uh, because of their behavioral part of that. And so hopefully we'll, uh, we'll choose a different route of how to show competitive toughness and mental toughness tomorrow and for the rest of the year. Who starts tomorrow, do you know? Uh, Patton, yes. Patton. Yep. Do you think Gold was feeding off of the fans kind of booing him when he was stepping off the rubber? Uh, he's got, uh, you know, he's a fifth-year guy. He's been through a lot. I don't think it would affect him one way or the other. He was going to not let them get on him. You know, I don't know why they would get on a guy that's trying to clean mud off of his cleats to try to throw the ball over the play. That's kind of silly. And uh, you know, they're, they're doing everything they can to disrupt him, and I think that's the kind of mental toughness I'm talking about is it looked like he was out there, as we call it, naked to the gods and nobody around and couldn't hear anybody rushing him. He was just doing his deal, and that's how I would like to see our other guys respond. It was a phenomenal performance by Jeff Gold, and, and unfortunately we got some other guys that are responding to everything in every situation and trying too hard, and I think Jeff, if you looked at the – in the dictionary under poise and uh, do what you do regardless of the environment and everything else and Jeff Gold's pictures in there and probably that's a good thing that, to tell my team instead of the the alternative of other guys trying too hard and all that stuff and it doesn't work very well that way hard to do you know even coach you know I there's guys in my ear too that you want to turn around and yell some things too but you have to have discipline not to do that